Hey guys, so today's video I'm doing um, another haul, but it's actually like on Avon stuff. And basically I do like Avon, and I love their beauty stuff, and I love all their like bits and bobs, really like fashion stuff, like bags and things. So in this haul I kind of bought uh, fashion related things, beauty related things, and a few Christmassy bits. So if you're interested in any of that then keep on watching and you'll see what I bought. So first on the list I've got these really really cute angel um, type baubles and they're supposed to basically change colours and they look really 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 cute and I've got like a tiny weeny little Christmas tree in my room, it's not that big, it's a bit of a pathetic tree really, it's just this white tree about, I don't know, about this big, five foot maybe? Five foot? I meant like two or three foot maybe, I don't know. Not very big tree anyway. Um, so yeah, this is one of the little angel things that I got. And it's really, really sweet. And they actually do turn on and they change colours. Look, ready? We just, just admire the colour changing of the angel. <laughs> These actually came in a box of two. And I got them for £5. So not bad price really for two glass baubles. And the other one's pretty much the same except for it's got a red heart on the front of it. And it came in a really nice box as well. And then these here. I can't wait for Christmas. I'm so festive this time of year already. I know. It's bad, isn't it? Well, I like being festive. If you're not, then go away. <laughs> and then I got these here for the window. Because I've got like French windows. Um, that you can see in my mirror, but they're quite big windows. So I've got two little small windows at the sides of the big windows. So these are going on there. They're like little sucker type uh, decorations for the windows, so they won't make a mess or anything. And they also change colour! Look at them, they're so cute! <laughs> oh, I just love Christmas so much. I especially love all the decorations and all the lights and stuff, because obviously it's quite gloomy um, in winter, you know, you don't get a lot of sunlight. And so it's nice to have lights going and candles and things, so these were only £5 as well. You know when you pick up things um, that you see and you think, I have no idea who I'm buying it for, but I need to buy it because I really, really like it and I'm not buying it for myself. Well, that's what I did. So <laughs> I found this really, really cute angel necklace. But what it is, is it comes with a little envelope. And it's like a card kind of gift type thing. So it's only a small little gift for somebody. But it's really nice, like little, I don't know, side gift perhaps or if you forget somebody then you know it's quite a nice idea and uh, I don't know I just really really liked it but I don't actually know how much that was I think it was like bear with me it was four pounds so <laughs> four pounds for a little gift for somebody you know I think that's quite nice so I needed a new mascara as well because I was running out of mascara Um, so I actually recently tried um out a new mascara of theirs which is actually called Big and Daring Volume Mascara and I really really like it actually this is one of the main Avon mascaras I really think is good because I used to use Super Shock mascara as well and some lengthening ones and I don't think they're as good as this one because this one here it was seven pounds but it's quite a big tube and also the brush on it I don't know if you can see but it has like a, a bend in it slightly so when you do your mascara not only does it give you volume it also lifts up your eyelashes and sort of gives you that wide eyed look which is what I really liked about it um, unlike the Super Shock where it's just like this like flat stick thing and it just doesn't although it's good for volume it doesn't lift your eyelashes so they're kind of like really low um, so yeah I really like that mascara and it's so good and for £7 it's not bad in the Avon magazine, these eyelash curlers were uh, half price, so they were £2.50. I'm actually, <laughs> I needed a new one because the ones I've got, I don't know if you can see, but there's like a big slit right through the, this, oh it's just, look, it's just falling apart basically. Um, so yeah, I needed a new one. These are my body shop ones and I've struggled to find one that I actually really like compared to the body shop ones because they have that kind of mechanism where it's a spring action one and you can allow as much pressure as you like. I prefer ones like that because um, I like to push down quite hard on them. 
Um, so I've actually finally found one. And um, look, as you can see, it's got the spring action, just like my Body Shop ones. And they're only £2.50. Normally I pay like £8 or £7 for the Body Shop ones. So yeah. So these are my new babies and hopefully they're just as good. I'll tell you what I really like in Avon, actually. If, you know, like you're rushing around, you're going to a party, you haven't got time to do your nails, then these things are just amazing. Um, lots of you probably know about nail wraps anyway. But these are ones I really do highly recommend. Um, these are the two colours that I got, or patterns as you like to say. Um, I got a snowflakey one, because obviously for Christmas I thought that'd be quite nice. And they're like sparkly as well, I don't think you can see that. But they're really sparkly and pretty. And then the other ones are like lacy ones. These are £4.50, which I don't think is bad, considering these actually lasted me a week and a half. And that all you do is basically cut them. You don't even cut them. Yes you do, you cut them. No. You peel them off and then you stick them down your finger <laughs> and then you just like rub it and then you make sure that it's really stuck down and then you just file off the end of it and it just stays in your nails and I, I absolutely was really really impressed by how long they lasted so and that's with like working as well um washing you know my hands and things so they are really good to buy and I highly recommend them so next I've got a small barrel brush by advanced techniques um, I did kind of need a new uh, barrel brush because the one I've got, the little bobbly bits are coming off the end of it. And I can't find one that's similar to it, but this will have to do. It's by Advanced Techniques. And I actually bought my last barrel brush from Avon. And it wasn't that expensive. I think it was like £3 or something like that. £3 isn't that bad for like a brush, really. Um, but I like it for curling my fringe under because... Woo! go static now in it but yeah I like using these to colour my fringe under because when it gets, starts to get really long and I need a haircut um yeah it kind of lifts up for me and makes it look like I don't need a haircut so yeah I, I always really need one of these brushes and I can't stand a really flat fringe it's so boring hate it so I like curling my fringe under so for ages now I've I don't know why I haven't bought one but I've been needing to buy one for a very very long time and I finally got one it's just like basically a eyelash and eyebrow comb and yeah I know you're probably thinking why the hell does this girl not have one she's into all her makeup and stuff well you know when you just kind of think I need to get one but then you don't bother getting one and it's not exactly on my main priority list um and plus I have eyelash colours to sort of lift my eyelashes and separate them and stuff anyway which, and it's really dark because I actually do use my tweezers sometimes to separate my eyelashes so now I finally got a brush for them and for my eyebrows, so I can just comb them like this, and comb it like this. Ooh. Um, but it wasn't expensive. I think it was £2.50, so half price as well. That was half price in the Avon mag. It was either £2.50 or £3. I can't remember all the time, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's not a bad price for something like this. Um, and yeah, so I'm quite happy that I've got this now. To go with the brow and eyelash comb, I also got myself, finally... Um, an eyebrow kit because I haven't actually got an eyebrow kit and I do sometimes darken my eyebrows a little bit. I've done it today. But what I actually use is I actually use my Naked 2 palette normally to fill in my eyebrows. There's a colour in there and I can't think what it is off the top of my head. Um, but I will probably leave it in the below box for you to read if you are interested in what I use from the Naked 2 palette. I use um, a, a matte brown one in the Naked 2 palette to colour in my eyebrows cut them in like I'm just drawing on my face I don't do them really dark because I don't like them really really dark because I'm me I don't mean to because I'm quite fair anyway but I have got this kit here and it's called the perfect eyebrow kit it was £3.50 and it is just a little like palette basically and inside the palette you've got um, the powder for the eyebrows and then you've got the eyebrow waxing stuff which I think you put on first before you put the um, powder on so it stays on so it stays on all day and then oh that fell out oh I'm just dropping everything now and then with that it comes with like a little brush here for doing both so it's quite fine which is fab because it gets right into those eyebrows um, and shapes them really well and you've got two ends so you've got one for the waxy part and one for the powder part so yeah it's got a beautiful mirror and say hello to the camera but yeah, that was £3.50. So it's not bad for me because I'm just experimenting with my eyebrows lately. So 
So if I have really horrible eyebrows, then you know why. Because it co went completely wrong. But to be fair, with this kit, it's for blondes, this one. They've actually got like a name that's a blonde. Um, and they do one for darker skin people as well. So that's quite good. And then because I spent over a cer certain amount of money in the Avon magazine, they gave me a free gift as well, which I could probably give away, but then I could also keep for myself. So I don't really know. I'm still debating whether to keep it or not for myself. But that's why I'm not going to unpackage it yet. But I have got this thing here. It's an ultra colour lipstick in the shade Pout, which is probably a nice pinky, peachy colour, which is quite a natural colour. It is called the Natural Gift Set, so I'm guessing so. Then I also got a gel finish nail varnish, which are nail varnishes that are made to look like you've had jelly nails done, basically. And they have like a high shine on them and stuff, I'm guessing. Um, this colour here is in Dazzle Pink, which is, yet again, a really nice nude pinky colour, which almost looks peach, actually, on the camera, to be honest. Um, so that came free as well, which is good, because these are normally like £5. And then I've also got a Ultra Glaze Wear Lip Gloss, which is in Iced Pink, which you can kind of see at the bottom. There you are. Sorry, it's not very bright today. I have quite a dark room. I don't get much light in my room, so it's so hard to do videos especially in winter it's trying to find the time to film it when it's light <laughs> and then also um i got like a buffing brush for nails as well so you've got three different things on there you've probably got like a file um a buffer bit which makes your nails shiny and then a bit for like smoothing the ridges out of your nails as well so yeah that all came free though which is i think pretty good and then i got a shimmer block blush powder um, which will, I'll be using probably for contouring and bronzing and stuff. Um, it's really nice actually, I really like the colours inside it. You know, you can either use sort of one of the colours or you can mix them all together. Um, it's entirely up to you, you can use half the colours, you know, it's really up to you what you do with it. But I'm going to use it for contouring, because I like to contour. Yeah, it's kind of smudged in today. But yeah, I like to contour. Um, it's one of my favourite things to do on my face because it's just kind of like, it gives you shape. It makes your face just look good. So <laughs> I bought one of these and I don't think that was that expensive actually. I have written it down somewhere. Yeah, it was £6. So, I mean, £6 for a shimmer block thing which is going to last me ages. So next up I have got a bag for you guys that I bought. Well, it's not for you I'm afraid, it's for me. But it's a, a fake croc. croc look type bag it's got like crocodile skin but it's obviously fake i'm not an animal killer don't worry guys <laughs> um but yeah this is really nice because it's like a a purpley bluey color although on the camera it looks more blue it's got a slightly like purpley color to it as well and to be honest the other day i decided that i did not have enough bags in my wardrobe um I just don't have enough bags. I mean, there's so many women that have loads of bags, and there's me, and I only have, well, I usually have, like, three bags. One for work, one for, like, going out, and one for, like, daytime. And that's not enough bags for a woman. So I've been investing in bags recently, and I got this bag here. It's quite a big bag. I like to have big bags because it's impossible to get every little thing that you need into a small bag. And it still gets lost in a small bag, to be honest. I still struggle with a small bag to get things out of it. You know, you like fiddling around and you can't get things out of your bag. So I like a big bag. Um, and it's got like a pocket there. And it's also got another pocket there which is zipped up. There we are. So yeah, that is a very nice bag. And it's called the Maylena bag. And it is £15. I've always loved across the body bags. So I have another bag for you guys. And it's <laughs> it was only £10. So you know. But I like the colour because it's like a tanned coloured bag. And I love tanned coloured things. Um, and it's got quite a few pockets. And it's quite a nice size for a small bag, you know. I think it's quite big for, like, a small bag. And this is the Keisha Across the Body bag, if you're looking in the Avon magazine. And it was only £10, so yes, if you like it, then you should buy it. So a girl can never have too many bags. And I was terrible. I had another bag. I won't open this one, though, for a reason, because... I couldn't justify buying three bags myself in one go, so I said to my boyfriend, do you mind putting this away for Christmas for me? Which I am actually doing now, but I'm just going to show you it first before I put it away. 
It's a Florelli bag. I think that's how you say it, isn't it? Florelli or Fiorelli. Um, it's a really nice, like, plummy colour. And I just don't have enough colourful bags. So I decided to get that bag because I need more colour in my life. So that is actually for Christmas from my boyfriend. So clearly I don't have enough onesies. You know, I've got a Me Too Bear one now. I've got a red Christmassy one. And now I have also got a leopard print onesie. Oh, it's so soft. Oh my god, I love it. It is super soft. It was only £18. This is one of my favourite buys. It's even got little ears on the top too. Look, look, look. Oh, it's so cute. But yeah, I really like this and it is so soft. And if you think of buying it, you should so buy it because it will keep you warm for those winter cold nights. So that's the end of this video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. And if you've got any questions about any of the products, then just comment below and I'll get back to you. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll hopefully bring another video out soon. Bye, guys!